What's up everyone, I hope you're doing fantastic. Today we're playing some more Wizard 101 and we're going to be joining a quick match 1v1 tournament on our level 30 death. Super hyped about this, so let's hop right into it. Alright, so it looks like we're going against Cheyenne. She is a storm wizard with a mega pet. I think we're just going to go ahead and get rid of one of these faints. We're going to keep one up though because we are going first and faint is very, very powerful. Going to get rid of that because we're just going to probably go into the double bladed poison into a banshee because that strategy really works out well for me. All right, so we're gonna get this blade up. Probably a tower shield, maybe a stun resist. I mean, stunning in quick match is really good, but it is just a shield. All right, we get 10% damage. That's a lot of health for a storm though, probably a master storm. She is a private though, so who knows? Probably doesn't have the best of gear. We do have these poisons up though. We got our 45% blade. Gonna get rid of this Skeletal Pirate, we're gonna draw real quick. Hmm. Alright, we can get rid of this blade, because we already have that one up. We can get rid of one poison. I'm gonna go ahead and just blade again then. Trying to get a Monstrous up. But, we want two blades anyway. Alright, so it's again- oh, probably an Infallible. I doubt it's a Fortify. Yep, Infallible. I'm okay with that. Alright, so it's up to 20% damage now. We did get a power pip though, which is very nice. Alright, we're going to get rid of that. Alright, so we did get another one of these, so we can get rid of that one. Alright, we got a duplicate. Awesome, we got our monstrous. Can we get one for the banshee? Oh, dang it. Alright, but we can. Actually, double bladed poison into a banshee might, might give us the win. Alright, so we got a special event point as well. Alright, piercing through the shield. Hopefully it does a decent amount. Alright, 276. Not bad. The overtime will probably be... Oh yeah, 700. Hopefully we don't get storm lorded, which I probably will. Yep, that's alright. As long as this doesn't one-shot, I don't think she has a blade on. Nope. Probably has a ton of damage, though. Alright, but we do have 200 health. I think a lightning bats might actually get us, so hopefully she doesn't get a power pip. A Storm Snake probably would too, but I don't know if she'll carry that or not. Yeah, I see, it would have been perfect. Banshee, GG, even a Dark Sprite would have ended the match. But, yeah, I guess we can't really do anything, so might as well just uh, click that real quick. Alright, so she probably doesn't have a Storm Snake. She probably would have chose that a lot sooner. Or maybe she was just enchanting it. Oh no, what is this? Is this a wand? Oh boy. Oh, Tempest with one pip. Hmm. If it was enchanted, it probably is Jeej. But if it's not enchanted... <gasps> Yo, this is so clutch. I think we just won this with a dark sprite. All right. <laughs> oh, we can actually... Oh, it's GG no matter what. I think we'll just uh, faint for the lols. <laughs> faint for the GG. Awesome. This is so cool. I wonder how much this is going to do with a faint too. Poison is so good. It hits every round for so much damage. Awesome. Well, good game, Cheyenne. And thank you everyone for tuning in. I'll be getting back to everybody in the next match. And now we're going against Jonathan Fire. So I'm assuming he's a fire, but we'll go ahead and just double check. All right, that is correct. We're going to keep this stun up since we're first. Keep the faint. We're going to get rid of one pirate. We got a poison. Awesome. Okay. So should we Deathblade? Yeah, I think we're just going to go straight away for the Deathblade. He did get a fail pip though, so even though he does go second and get that pip advantage, we are still level on pips. Going to go straight for the Infowl. Alright, not a bad move at all though. Alright, 10% damage now. Should we Infowl as well? We are getting nice pips though. We can Bone Dragon literally next. Alright, so we're going to get rid of one of these. Alright, so we got a Bone Dragon. Hmm, he is fail pipping though. So this is really nice because if we can get the bone dragon off and then stun before we can F re, that would be crazy. Alright, so we do get this blade. We're just gonna go ahead and use that. Unless he has burning rampage, then we're probably pretty dead. Ooh. It probably oh, weakness. Awesome. Oh, lore master, wow, okay. Well, he can't use another one. It's probably going to do mass though. I think two of these and I'm dead. Much, Yeah. Yeah, another one. Unless he's like going to sunbird next or something, but... 
All right. I mean, that's a move. Okay, so we got a stun. We'd fizzle that, though. All right, gonna get rid of one faint. So should we bone dragon or what? Oh, he can't sunbird. Wow, so if we do this and we don't fizzle, we are going to be good. Because yeah, we can just stun next and it's, hopefully we don't fizzle. Minus 35%, so we're, we probably will, hopefully. <gasps> no way! I don't think, I don't think a two pip spell can get me. I really don't think, because fire elf is also over time. This might be G. Oh, if we just beat Jonathan, this is going to be so hype. But we do have that weakness, but it's just double bladed, and we have so much damage, and we get the pierce from the quick match. All right. How much is this doing here? Come on. Yeah, 600. Yeah, he's definitely gone next round. So it was so close this round, too. But what did he do? Did he fire elf? It, it might be a tie. This might be a tie. Because I know this... Ho, ho, ho. I think we just tied. Really? Did that just happen? Yeah. Unless the fire elf doesn't get me. But we got the stun. Am I gone? <gasps> Yo! Yo, this was so clutch. We just won. We get the stun for the lols as well. 48 HP. Oh my goodness. Good game, Jonathan. Thank you for everyone watching this match. I'll be getting right back to you with the next one. In this match, we're going against Cody. Has an adult pet, 1800 health. Started off with five pips, but we did get those power pips as well. We're gonna keep a Banshee. We're gonna keep one Skeletal Pirate. Keep one Faint and one Stun. This is a really, really good hand. All right, so I think we're gonna get rid of the Pirate. All right, so we got a Bone Dragon. We're just gonna start off with a nice shield so we can't get one shot. All right, so we got that special event point. That's what's up. What is this, a blade right off the bat? What? All right, all right. Well, I mean, we are going first, so if he's uh, not gonna put up a shield, maybe we can just one-shot Skeletal Pirate. All right, don't need another one of those right now. Faint is looking nice. All right, so we did get an enchant. Hmm. All right, we're going to death blade, but then we might just poison because we can poison into a banshee. Probably going to get wanded or fire elf. Hopefully he fire elves and takes off that blade. Oh, I mean, okay. It's an okay move. It's just this spell does most of its damage in the first hit. So yeah, I mean, that would have done a lot, but luckily we had that shield on. And he used all of his pips. All right. I'm chill with that. Awesome. And we get all these power pips. I think it's over. Yeah, we're just going to bone dragon. Might as well. Because here. I'm going to get rid of one of these. Oh, an enchanted banshee. Right. Yeah, because we can just faint too if it doesn't. Yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Come on, Cody. Let's go. Special event point. Yeah, 183 over time. Sorry, mans. He should have fire elf into like an Efreet. Bone's gonna do so much damage too, even with one blade. I mean, Amagus can have 72 damage and 50 resist. I love this gear. Finally finished my quad damage, double resist pet. Loving that as well. We'll put critical jewel on it too once we get to level 50. Yeah, 700 first hit and the overtime does mass. Wow, wow. 900 over time even through a shield i'm pretty sure he's gone sweet all right maybe we can uh stun i mean just for the lols yeah 200 health no stun yeah we'll just faint we'll just faint i don't there's nothing he can do unless his pet like may cast okay so may cast healing current is insane because it could just do like max and do 1500 and completely save his life but this is gonna do yeah 900 through a tower <laughs> all right gg cody i'll be getting back to everybody in just a moment i think we're gonna start things off with a death blade i think we're just gonna go into the double blade bone dragon maybe even a poison into a banshee we will see here fairly soon Ooh, nice probably a tower shield maybe a stun block though 
Okay, yeah, so it's the tower shield, so that's not too bad at all. Really hype about this, because we do get this awesome pierce in this quick match. Maybe we can get a... Alright, so there's our bone dragon, very nice. We do have a feint, though, as well. Alright, so we're going to draw... Awesome, we got our infallible. That is very, very good. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and use this infallible up. Getting special event points as well, that is awesome. Alright, what is this? A blade? Alright, right on. Hopefully he does not have Burning Rampage, that would be very sad for us. Damage is increased to 20%, which is awesome. Alright, so we got our Banshee, we got our Poison, and our Skeletal Pirate. Alright, so we're not getting very many pips though, which is very unfortunate. Even though we have 60% power pip chance on our Megas, it is amazing. Alright, so we're going to get rid of that Faint. Might as well keep this stun, even though it does cost pips. And we're going to go ahead and bring out the next blade. We might get an F Reet right here, which would be okay with me. At least as long as we survive it. Hopefully we don't get one shot. Okay, we got the minus 40, but we have a ton of accuracy. And the infallible gives us a ton of accuracy as well. Alright, so I think we're just going to go for a poison into a uh, skeletal pirate here. I'm going to get rid of this stun. Don't really think we're going to need that. So many weaknesses. Yeah, going to get rid of the Banshee. Good, we got another Skeletal Dragon. Alright, so it looks like we just have here. Alright, we got an Enchanted Poison. Hopefully we can power this, though. Really hoping we can power this. Yes! Okay, we powered it. This is going to do mass damage. Nice. And hopefully we cannot get one shot by an F3. Wow, almost 500 damage first round. 800 over time. Poison is so, so good, everyone. Especially if we can follow this up into a Banshee. Oh, Sun Serpent. Wow, this actually might one-shot here. But we do have 50% resist on this character. Plus 35. It is bladed, though. Will we survive? <gasps> no! <gasps> no! That was so close. All right, that's too bad. We got the rewards, and it looks like we got second place, which I am totally okay with. We're still going to get some awesome things. We got a silver trophy, some agave leaves, a tower shield pet snack, and 1,000 arena tickets, which is what I like to see. We might as well roll again, just so we can get that extra 400 and a colossal and a bell pepper. Don't forget that. So thank you, everybody, who tuned into this episode of some death PvP. Really enjoying this again. If you want me to level up a little bit, Drop a comment down below, I'd love to do some Legendary. If you'd like to see some more PvP for Death in general, let me know as well. I have some other characters that I do do tournaments and PvP on also. So let me know what type of content you'd like to see, whether that be other games or just other schools in Wizard 101. And until next time everyone, take care.